Hello, I'm David Gilmore, known as the LDS Prepper, and you can watch over 500 emergency preparedness videos at ldsprepper.com, absolutely free. I'm here uh, on my off-grid property, and today we're gonna be talking about whether it's better to have solar panels on the ground or on the roof. It is January 21st, uh, 2022, and I am out removing snow from my solar panels here that are ground mounted. That's probably the biggest advantage in having um, ground mounted solar panels versus roof mounted panels. And I have both, so I'll be able to share my experience from both of those. I've been out here removing snow from my uh, 21 panels here that are ground mounted. And I've been using something that's called a Snow Joe. And I did a video on this a year or so ago on it. It's really a great device. I'll have a link down below this video about this. I don't know if they're still in stock, but I know I've used squeegees and other things to remove snow from the panels and uh, nothing works as well or as easy or as fast as the Snow Joe. So I'm, I'm really happy that I have it. You can use it to remove snow off your vehicles uh, also solar panels. I've done it on the walkway, the back patio. Um, it, it just makes it really easy to uh, get the snow off. Uh, here you can see on the ground mount panels up here where I first start is there's basically no snow left. Uh, but over here there is because what I did is I went across the top and you can see across the top here there's hardly any snow at all. That's because as soon as you get the sun on the panels, even when it's 22 degrees this morning, the panels start generating electricity, which generate heat. And so, as uh, you can see, the section that I've done, the, that was done the longest ago, has the least amount of snow. And so even though I'm not removing all the snow here, it'll all be removed um, shortly after I remove the majority of it because of the heat that uh, is on the panels that it'll, it'll uh, dissolve the snow. So it takes me about, uh, well, depending on how much snow here, we've got about three inches of snow that happened uh, last night. And I love it when it snows at night because it doesn't turn to ice. And uh, so that I can come out in the morning and, and scoop the snow off. This is kind of a heavy wet snow, but it hasn't iced up. So uh, I'll be able to get uh, solar power generating quickly because I'd be able to remove the snow and not have to worry about melting the ice through the slow process of the panels heating up. But I'm sure I'm already uh, generating power off these panels here. So uh, these are all south facing. Uh, it's ground mounted, but let's take a look at the construction. These support poles here uh, actually go down, that center one goes down six feet uh, into the ground. <coughs> and has hundreds, probably over a thousand pounds of uh, concrete holding those eight poles down. Uh, and so this is uh, spec to withstand 150 mile an hour winds from the back side. So uh, we've, the most I've seen here is 66 mile an hour winds from the south, uh, which would be from the front, but this is spec for 150 from the back side. So, uh, it's solid. It's it's really really solid. Uh, the uh, county came out and inspected them. Uh, they said it's one of the best installs they've ever seen. So very solid. I uh, I don't really use uh, lose any ground space because as you can see, I use this to store my firewood that we use to heat the house. It's uh, easy to remove the snow, and I've also sealed it up here with the expandable foam so that I can store my firewood underneath, and. Uh, that has worked out really, really well. I keep my kindling splitters out here and they're attached on these stumps. Uh, I have videos on these, actually three different uh, kindling splitters. Uh, I will never go back to splitting uh, a kindling again with a hatchet like I did before. I'll have a link down below for that videos, but I'll tell you what, this, will, this is life changing, these uh, kindling splitters. If you have a wood burning stove, I guarantee you, going to want to watch that video. It'll save you a lot of time and hopefully uh, save you from injuring yourself with a hatchet. So I really like the ground mount system and there's another big reason to have ground mount versus roof mount. And let's take a look at that now. 
So I have a 16 kilowatt uh, solar panel system. I've got approximately five kilowatts uh, on each side of the roof here. This is facing east. So I've got another five kilowatts facing west. And then I got five kilowatts facing south on the ground mount. You can see over here is my ladder. So I do, and I will come over here and scrape the snow off the panels up there so I can continue generating power. We've actually banked enough power with our local utility company that if we didn't have any solar for a year, we still have enough power to run our entire property because we've sold them so much power back. But it is uh, not nearly as safe or easy to remove the snow with the uh, snow joe up here because I'm standing on a 12 foot ladder and I'm extending that uh, pole, that 12 foot pole all the way out. And I'm, it takes quite a while to, to pull that snow off. I've, I've done it many times and, and I will do it because I think it's, you know, if I have solar panels, I should be generating uh, power and I need to know what I need to do to be self-sufficient. Okay, what, how much work does it take? Um, I, we had a lot of snow recently and I didn't remove it and we had a foot of snow on there and I just couldn't remove it all. I, I was out here for hours and it was so heavy and so thick. I was basically using the snow joe to chop chunks off of the of snow off of the panels and pull it down but it was just a lot of snow so i tried not to let it build up uh, the biggest disadvantage in addition to it not being very easy to clear is that um, there are a lot more safety issues involved because it's, it's electrical high power electrical attached to a living uh, uh, dwelling and so a lot more codes involved with having it on the, the roof. And so if you've got space on the ground, personally, I prefer having it on the ground. Um, in this particular case, I wanted panels facing south, east, and west. And so that having it on the roof worked well for me. But uh, as far as maintenance and uh, county codes and safety issues, uh, it's certainly a lot easier to have it ground mounted. I'm not sure on the cost between the two, but if you have the space, I would encourage you to ground mount it. Again, as I showed you with my firewood, you're not really losing that real estate. You can use it for other things, store your lawnmower or other equipment or firewood underneath the panels. And uh, you don't have the safety concerns uh, with electrical problems. Got a couple of boxes up here that have a bunch of electrical coming in and circuit breakers and all kinds of stuff inside there. So is it uh, best to have it on the roof or the ground? I think if I had my uh, preferences, I would, uh, unless I had a specific reason like I have here, wanting to go east, south, and west. Um, and I did that to extend how much uh, solar that I'm making, uh, I get, because I did this, I, I actually get uh, solar generation earlier in the morning because of the east panels right here and later in the evening because of the west panels. I would probably generate more power uh, during the day if they were all south facing, but I wanted to uh, start and end earlier and later in the day. So having on the roof has worked out well. Uh, it's up to you. If you got the ground space, I would do it. If not, then uh, certainly do whatever you can to, to become more self-reliant. I think uh, this is if not the best one of the very best decisions we've made on our property is to have solar I highly 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 recommend having a full solar system with battery backup uh, I got a call from the utility company the other day oh no it was it wasn't util another company the other day and they apologized for the late reply because they had been without power for three hours and they are literally down the road from us and we didn't know that the power was out so having battery backup is um, really, uh, you know, the whole purpose of us having solar. Um, we just recently updated our battery bank. We went from lead acid to lithium iron phosphate. Um, it was about a $30,000 upgrade. I, I'll put a link to that video down below here, but it was a significant upgrade and those batteries should last us for uh, an easy 10 years. Uh, I think that's at least what the warranty is, but I expect them to last considerably longer. Um, if you want to look at other 
videos on off-grid solar and how we've built the system and actually uh, item by item price breakdown and uh, so forth uh, take a look at my uh, links on my off-grid solar playlist I'll have a link down below on that also this is David Gilmore known as LDS Prepper reminding you if you are prepared you shall not fear having solar and the snow joe to keep the solar generating is one way that we are preparing so we have no fear.